Keith. Hey, right. Thanks, Brian. This morning, the situation getting into Seattle Dyer at this point, South 5 at the Ship Canal Bridge. Traffic is being turned around on the bridge itself, and that is uh, that's a, a rough sign for us at this point. This is a double rollover collision investigation that is still underway. You can see one of the vehicles starting to turn around and head up the pike, so to speak. Traffic on southbound I-5 in the meantime is being diverted off of uh, the main line of I-5 and onto the express lanes at 50th. You're either being told to exit at 50th or get into these express lanes at 50th. So the express lanes continue to operate functioning in through downtown Seattle, whereas the main line is still closed off at this point. And looks like that is going to be the case for the next several hours by the looks of things. I've also had reports of some difficulties in through the Slater Kinney area. I-5 to Slater Kinney looks like that ramp has been impacted by an earlier brush fire. North 5 slows a little bit in through Nisqually, and the south end volumes continue out of Tacoma and Puyallup, just much the same as we'd find almost any other morning. But really, it is about this backup on southbound I-5 stretching from Lake City Way into the downtown core. Got to get yourself into those express lanes or 99 instead getting into town at this point. Meanwhile, Brian Flores has been on the scene right now, uh, kind of keeping track below at this point where Seattle Police and Fire Rescue have been doing some investigations. Uh, Brian, what are you seeing at this point? Well, what we're seeing right now, Adam, is that uh, Seattle Fire Rescue Crews and Seattle Police Rescue Crews uh, have uh, pretty much concluded their search for a possible uh, a, a person in the water that may have came from that accident. The thinking, the belief is that after that accident happened that you've been talking about on Ship Canal Bridge, the driver of one of the other cars may have fallen off the bridge and into the water here in Lake Union. At least that is the thinking right now. Uh, Seattle fire crews, Seattle police crews were out on the water, as you saw, just after 5 o'clock this morning, uh, doing a fan search, as they say, looking for this possible person. Now, the latest there is that uh, they have concluded that search from what they tell us. It is unclear if there is a body in the water right now, but this has turned over from Seattle Fire, which would be a rescue mission, to now a recovery mission. So that investigation now turns to Seattle Police. We're going to reach out to them and get more answers there. Uh, in terms of the traffic up there, I just got off the phone with Washington State Patrol. As we take a look at the Ship Canal Bridge, basically up there is where the traffic is happening on the southbound side. I got the phone with Washington State Patrol. They say this traffic could last up to three hours. So. It's going to be an absolute nightmare. We saw the backups already that are forming southbound on I-5. In terms of the accident as well, we understand a 22-year-old male has been taken in, into custody on suspicion of DUI uh, from that accident that happened earlier this morning, just around 5 o'clock. So we're going to stay here on the scene, get more answers for you this morning. But in terms of the bigger issue right now is that traffic up above me here on southbound I-5 on the Ship Canal Bridge. We'll stay on top of that as well and bring it the very latest. But for live here in Seattle, Brian Flores, Fox 13 News. And just to put that into perspective, you saw just how high they were there, um, high, high, how high up above Brian they were there. That's a 182 foot drop from the top of the Ship Canal Bridge. So if they are looking for that driver in the water there, that is a huge drop after a nasty crash on the Ship Canal Bridge earlier this morning. We continue to follow that. Meantime,